This is a New York City baby. This is ooh. One, two. Don't tell me that they're all the same. Cause even the sound of his name. Back to some golden beach Where only he remains You planted your eyes on my feet You told me to dig my heels deep I wore the rain on her window pane and drifted us to sleep.
Sunset Sun. Thank you. 
It's Morning Becomes Eclectic on KCRW with the new album Crush Songs. Karen O oh joins us in studio. Hello, Karen. Hey, Jason. How's it going? Good. <laughs> hey, I actually have a, a gift for you before we oh, uh, really? get into this. So nice. if I don't kill myself. Starting out really good for me. <laughs> off of this chair, I brought you a KCRW mug. Oh, this is perfect because <laughs> I need mugs right now. And what you, better mug than KCRW? <laughs> <laughs> do you drink a lot of coffee, I hope? Um, no coffee. I'm a tea person, but okay. lots, lots of tea. So. Well, that should work. Then. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> so thoughtful. So in 1997, the rapper Big Pun sang, I'm not a player, <laughs> I just crush a lot. Right. <laughs> and uh, by the time his heart gave out, just three years later, mm. he reportedly weighed 698 pounds wow. at his time of his death. So that gave a uh, special meaning to the idea of crush. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Personally, I've always thought of a crush as something unfulfilled. Uh, mm. something unrequited and right. in, in that sense I think I crush a whole lot right uh, every day <laughs> but tell us what does what does a crush mean to you um, well I, th I feel like definitely uh, the unrequited thing is in there um, sometimes but um, and maybe actually a lot of the time but um, but what a crush is for me is is just the early phases I mean so it's not that far from 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 love and a crush song isn't that that far from a love song um but i i feel like it's just sort of the beginning of love you know so yeah. so yeah it's like almost like the honeymoon phase of love it's just when it's just all, uh, you know mostly fantasy and you know and wish fulfillment and yearning and and yeah and and sometimes it's requited sometimes it's not but um it's but you know whether 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 it works out or or, or it doesn't you start with a crush generally right so <laughs> you write in the liner notes that uh you say when you were 27 uh, you, you crushed a lot. You underlined that, right? Um, which is when you r wrote and recorded much of, of this material. Yes. Mm -hmm. I understand. Um, why that specific age? Were you going through a very transformative time in your life, like when you were when you were twenty seven years old? Um, yeah, I think so. Um, I was uh, single for the first time in in a while. I was kind of a serial monogamist, um, and um, and I was really uh, milking that for, for for what it was worth. <laughs> and um, yeah, in 27, I mean, you know, I'm I'm uh, you know, I was in a rock band. Uh, you know, 27 just seems like some kind of I'm not sure benchmark year in your in your in your life as a, as a rocker, um, and um, and I think I was like sort of in between. Just um, I just felt like you know i was looking for love but i was also really high on on life and love and stuff so um so it just felt like i was a, like life was a swirling um kind of i don't know just like really high <laughs> i have no <laughs> idea how, you, how, to, how to explain it but um but um but I just yeah thought it was interesting that you would specify that, that year yeah yeah well yeah i mean just for me personally yeah i was um you know, I was, uh, I just, I had a great year at, at 27 and I felt like I was kind of, um, trying things out, you know, um, um, like in, in like the love, you know, sort of, uh, and, you know, <laughs> sorry, my brain. <laughs> Um, I was trying all sorts of things, and I was, I was like, you know, I was, I was um, just the emotional roller coaster. The emotional ro roller coaster, but, um, but, um, but yeah, I was like hungry for life and love and stuff like that, and um, yeah, and, and I, I, you know, shortly after found like the love of my life. So, yeah. Let's talk about the the package and the art direction for the album. And I'm holding the CD, but there's also a vinyl edition, which looks awesome. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, so these are your drawings. Yes, they are. They're, they're mine. I mean, it has really a very personal handmade feel to it. It doesn't seem like your normal uh, you know, <laughs> yeah. CD issue. So right. that's, that's very cool. There's a lot of love and care that went into that, yeah. And these, these drawings sort of remind me of, of uh, Raymond Pettibon. Right, yeah, he's a big, he's a big uh, influence for sure. You know, for our audience, he's a um, super influential um, artist, especially mm -hmm. for uh, the punk scene here in Southern California. Yeah. Uh, he designed the Black Flag uh, logo, but also he did, you know, one of my favorite albums, um, Goo by Sonic yes. Youth. Yes, yeah, that's an amazing cover. Um, and so your drawings are reminiscent of that in some way. I see these are people uh, making out. <laughs> yeah. Did you work from um, from a photograph or just freehand it? 
Um, yeah, no, I, I wish I could freehand that. Um, no, I, I worked from a photograph. Um, and um, actually, when you, when you open that, uh, I think like the one, the origami thing, um, the, the, the main case there, if you open it up, there's like a portrait of me as like a five, five-year-old kid. In yeah, there. I noticed this. Um, and that was drawn by my grandfather um, from, he's my, my Korean grandfather, um, who was a, a portrait artist. artist. So um, I think I got a little of his, uh, his drawing, you know, um, abilities. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, that's me a five, you know, drawn by Young Kak Kim, my, my grandfather. He's good. <laughs> yeah, he's that's good, an right? amazing, uh, that's an amazing drawing. When we last spoke, it was um, February of this year. Yes. Um, around the time of your Oscar nomination for the Moon Song, you were joined by Spike and KK Barrett yes. uh, for a performance of the Moon Song here at this very same studio, just just downstairs. Did the did the success of that song in its kind of stripped down style mm. um, give you any? encouragement to to put out this album as your first um solo release because there's a similarity in mm -hmm. the simplicity of the songs right yeah i think it just boosted my sort of um i guess interest or confidence in in, in um in wanting to re release it just to more people you know, i think initially you know I, um, I was always planning on on releasing um not always but as of last year i was planning on releasing um this record this year um but i was like i was thinking about just a very, very soft, small release. You know, I was looking for small indie in, in um, New York City, and I just thought, ah, if like a couple hundred people here, I'll be, I'll be excited, you know? But then after, um, after the Moon Song um, at the Oscars and, and that, that whole thing went down, it just kind of made me feel like, oh, okay, maybe I should just, you know, maybe, maybe more people than just a couple hundred people would be interested in hearing this. So, um, so I think it just boosted sort of my, um, yeah, I guess just my desire to, to share it with more people than I initially, you know. Um, did you re-record these songs or are these original takes that you did, you know, <laughs> years ago? Um, yeah, no, I'm glad that you, that you asked that question um, because I, I thought it was pretty, you know, pretty obvious that they're like very, the original sort of demos. Um, you know, um, yeah, these are just like, um, I think the majority of these are either the first or second time I ever put it down, you know, so I, maybe I just scrawled some lyrics and, and what you're hearing sometimes is literally the, the first time I'm, I've ever, ever <laughs> attempted to sing it and stuff. So, so yeah, they're, they're as authentic as, as, as you get in that sense. And, and, um, yeah, and I kind of vacillated between whether or not to re-record them, you know, um, just with a nicer production, but in the end, it just, I don't know, I just want, I felt like, um, yeah, I, I, I wasn't sure it would retain the same feeling and, and um, sentiment that it does, you know, so. So, Moses Sumney. Yes, um, Moses. Friend of KCRW and <laughs> yeah. a good man and a super talented dude. Totally. And um, he joined you, uh, he, he joins you here in this mm -hmm. session for KCRW, but uh, how did you connect with him? Uh, through the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. David Siddick, who um, he's a producer of TV on the radio, all the yeah, yes records, and he's in TV on the radio as well. And um, yeah, he has these like barbecues at his house where, you know, <laughs> where just like all kinds of cool, cool kids like pass through, you know, people that he's working with and, you know, just kind of like fun people from the past. And, and um, I was over there um, at a barbecue of his and, um, and uh, yeah, he pulled me in, in this room. Dave pulled me in this room um, and Moses was, was sitting there and, and Dave's like, Karen, come here. You're gonna listen to this. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna love it. And Moses was like, no, no, don't let me. <laughs> um, and yeah, and, and, uh, and Moses had, I guess he had, um, he had recorded like his four song uh, EP on a four track, you know? So he recorded on like, he had an old school, like four, four track tape demo, um, sorry, tape. Uh, um, machine or whatever and um and so he played it for me and and wow you know i just yeah it, it left an impression so is there something about his his process which also is pretty raw in how he presents his mm -hmm, music mm -hmm. that is attractive to you do you kind of like how he does what what he does oh yeah 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 i mean it just i just felt um just i don't know yeah i just con i just connected really deeply with it and and i felt like i'd been waiting like a like a long time <laughs> to hear like 
Moses, basically, you know, <laughs> and um, and 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 the music that he makes, and and just yeah, his exp you know his artistic expression and his his soul and his his dreaminess and his. I mean, it was just like wow. I mean, it really yeah. really knocked me sideways. Well, Karen, listen, thank you um, for joining us, and thank you for sharing your your um, oh, your for crush me. songs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, crush we, a lot. We, <laughs> we love it, and um, and yeah, we appreciate you making time for KCRW. Thanks so much. Karen O, it's Morning Becomes Eclectic. This is Beast. body. Gotta make it right for yourself. If you love somebody, anybody, there will always be someone else. So make it right for yourself If you love somebody, anybody 
Take the time for yourself Read it in their eyes Know it deep inside Gotta make it right for yourself Gotta make it right for yourself If you love somebody, anybody There will always be someone else So make it right for yourself Sweet. This is King. The King of Pop is dead and gone away. No one ever will take his place. He's in his castle in the sky Watching over you and I And with his single sparkling glove He blows us kisses, show his love Is he walking on the moon? I hope I don't find out too soon Very silly <laughs> okay. right, This is Day Go By Sleep. I'm wasted, wasted Can't sleep, I'll make it to the dawn By the way, I really need my fix Cause you got me so sick I know that I'm burning for you That I'm burning for you That I'm burning for you Don't call the doctor, doctor God save the doctor, something's wrong Gonna call the doctor, doctor Just tell him that my pain is gone <laughs> Time away It's tearing me apart I wear it on my heart, I do Can't sleep, I'm wasted, wasted Can't stand still, I'm shaking over you Really need my fix cause you got me so sick I know that I'm burning for you That I'm burning for you That I'm burning for you Don't call the doctor, doctor God 
say if the doctor something's wrong Gonna call the doctor, doctor Just tell him that my pain is gone It's gone, 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 It's gone, 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 gone,